Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's your boss CB here. So happy to be here with you guys. And today we'll be checking out how to build the perfect resource dragon, which is gonna help you in upgrading, which is gonna help you in researching, which is gonna help you in farming resources, and most importantly, guys, it's gonna help you in void. Now, before that, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and let's get straight to the video. So a research dragon is not for attacking, it's not for defending, it's just gonna help you in clearing levels, it's gonna help you in farming resources and building stuff. So make sure you have an extra dragon for research. So don't go with your main dragon as research dragon, just use your main dragon as a destruction dragon, maybe having all damaging skills and research dragon. Let me show you guys, you gotta have Go to abilities over here and learn this is how a perfect research dragon looks like four purples and three yellow skills now the reason why i chose a divine dragon is because you can get an extra skill so if you mess it up on any one of these skills you still got chance to spin out one one skill because if you use a legendary dragon and you only have seven skills because even if you spin out one of those skills it's gonna be pretty hard to get all seven of these skills in one dragon so that's why i used a divine dragon and it's pretty hard to get all these skills blessed in a divine dragon so if you have a lot of drachma go with the legendary dragon so you can always pin in with all this stuff if you don't have a lot of drachma go with the divine dragon so when you start using a research dragon first of all you want to hatch your egg and you want to focus on at least two or three purple skills because purple skills cost 16 drachma it's very heavy on the spending side so make sure you have a dragon with at least one or two purple skills if you have three purple skills that will be a best dragon to use for research dragon so you will spend only that much less drachma and all these yellow skills will only take two drachmas each to get these skills so Yellow skills doesn't matter guys, only 6 Bragma, you can get 3 skills pretty easily and if you spin one out, you can easily spin again with 2 Bragma. So first of all, start with the research dragon which has 2 purple skills, then focus on getting 4 purples. So that's how I did it with this dragon. So I've spent a total of maybe 100 to 150 Bragma in this dragon itself to get all of these 7 skills in my dragon. So I don't have... Frigid scale is leveled up because I'm not going to use this dragon to level or attack or anything guys. I'm just using it for farming which is what I'm going to be dis discussing later on in this video guys. And you got to focus on getting 4 purples first. So then you go for the yellow skills. So once you have 4 purples locked in, you're going to go for yellow skills. And if you spin out one of those purples between that, Try to get that purple back in, then go for the yellow one. So that's how I did it. And hopefully, guys, you gotta get lucky and you're gonna get lucky and you're gonna get all seven skills you want and you're gonna keep that dragon aside. Don't touch your research dragon no matter what. Now, let's let me explain how useful this dragon is for researching, upgrading, void, farming, every single thing right now, guys. So you guys might ask why all 7 skills in one single dragon, why not make 2 different dragons and make one with 4 purples and one with 3 yellows. So the reason why because if you want to get the maximum out of one single skill, you want to have this skill at level 100. And if you want to have a skill at level 100, you want to have a level 50 dragon. So even though if you have a lot of dragon glass and a lot of soul fire, so you can make a lot of dragons and get them up with the four purples of three yellows, you won't have enough space inside your layer. So you don't want to make two or three dragons, which is going to sit inside that layer the entire time of your life, man. So you don't want that. So that's why focus on one single dragon, get it up to level 50 and don't touch it. Get all these skills, get them to blessed and use all these skills guys so that's how i use this dragon so i have not even spent a single point inside the fridge scales because i don't want that skill man because i don't want this skill for this dragon because all these seven skills now i'm focusing on getting an infusion of this greater barbarism so let's go talk about these skills in detail so let's talk about the first yellow skill, Blessed Affluence, which is going to increase your production speed of your stronghold. That does not matter by 100%. The only thing matters about this skill is 
At level 1, you're gonna get 5% extra building speed and at level 4, you're gonna get 10% extra building speed. So that's 15% building speed in just one skill itself. Now let's go for the next yellow skill right here, which is gonna give you an extra 80% from dungeon. So this is gonna help you in events like Gold Rush, Lumber Rush or Elixir Rush, whatever. It's gonna give you an extra bit of loot from all these dungeons and the main skills you want to focus on here is at level 2 you're gonna get 10% extra research speed and at level 6 you're gonna get another 10% construction speed so already we got 25% building speed just from two skills itself so that's why you want to get all these skills up to level 100 so that's why you need to focus on one single dragon Coming to the third yellow skill over here, Logistic Agreement, which is gonna also help you in resource farming even by giving you a lot of resources. But the major thing to focus on is at level 2, you're gonna get 5% extra resource speed. And at level 6, guys, 15% extra resource speed. So in total, with 3 yellow skills, you're gonna get 30% resource speed and 25% building speed. So if you wanna miss out on that, man. That's a lot of reduction in your timer. So you want to keep all those three yellow skills at blast. That's why you want to focus on one single dragon man. So you don't have to spend a lot of dragon glass and soul fire to waste. Now let's go talk about the purple skills right now. Coming to the first purple skill, we got fortitude over here. And it is going to increase your melee units health by 15%. So your tanks, your swordsmen, your stalkers will get their health increased by 15% and each level will give you buffs based on races. So human units 5%, then magical units another 5%, then you're gonna get evade chance by 3% for your melee units, so that is pretty good. And also guys, mech units will get a 5% health. And also if you are lich and if you don't have a research dragon yet, man, get this today guys. You're getting a 10% extra health on your undead units and that's you don't wanna miss. And at level 6 guys, this is why you want to have a blast four purples man 400 extra bronze supply cap if you have four plus purples and which is going to help you in power price event it is going to increase your silver cap it's going to increase your gold cap making you create a lot more troops and increasing your power by a lot so the next skill you want to focus on is Ferocity. Ferocity is gonna give your range units an extra 15% attack. So your archers, your snipers, your diabolists will get 15% extra attack. And also guys, each level will give you buffs based on your race. And at level 5 again guys, 100 units are getting a 10% extra attack. So this means the melee units and the range units will both get these buffs. So that is pretty insane man. Coming over to Fortitude over here, which is going to give an extra 10% to health for your Diabolus and your Stalkers. And this is going to give a 10% extra attack for your Diabolus and your Stalkers. So Lich is way too overpowered. If you don't have a Research Dragon, get this today itself. The next skill you want to focus on is Barbarism, which is going to give your melee units an extra 15% critical hit chance at level 100. So I got this at level 72 right now and i'm infusing it trying to get this one to bless and based on your races you're gonna get all these critical hit chance buffs and also guys at level three you're gonna get an extra seven percent too so that means 15 plus 7 22 percent extra critical hit chance for your melee units itself so under is getting only five for this one and the next skill you want to focus on is alacrity which is going to increase your attack speed by range units by 20 percent and based on your races you're gonna get an extra five percent each and at level 3, you're going to increase the health of your non-hero range units by 5%. So this is pretty good, man. Getting your health on your range units is pretty crucial because without the health, their attack is pretty useless, man. If they die out pretty fast in the battle, their damage does not matter. So this thing is pretty important right here. And at level 100, just as usual, you're going to get 100 bronze supply cap. So why do you want all 4 plus purples in this one? So we'll talk about that right now. So right now I got my PvP dragon equipped which does not have any single blessed purple skills so that means no buffs for my troops right now and I'm gonna check on my army right now and check up my snipers right here 652k attack and my tanks have 7093k so when I get inside void with this one I'm gonna get all these same buffs itself so I'm gonna enter the void right now and I'm gonna check my army inside void right now and it's pretty much the same health 652 and 
we got 1793 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and switch to my research dragon right now so let's switch back to our research dragon right now so we got our research dragon in and let's check out the stats on our army right now 692k so that's at least 40,000 increase in our troop attack right now and let's we'll see the troop health right here 1909 so that's a over a hundred thousand increase in the troop health so that is pretty insane guys so let's go over back to the void and let's see these buffs get transferred over to the void and your troops will have high amount of stats right now so let's check out the troops right here 692k over here and 1909 so that means you will get a more stronger army with the same dragon so if i go and challenge this army right now i can still use my other dragon man with all these buffs too so let's go and use our other dragon right now so we got we got our onyx dragon here we don't change dragon man so we get more stats without changing our dragon too so this is much more crucial when it comes to void it will help you clear all these void stages much more easily now this is a small example of how the research thing works with the dragon so right now i got one day and one hover on my level 22 research of the last set here and which is gonna give you an increased attack and health on my ironsmith so i'm gonna switch back to my other dragon and let's check out the timer on the same research so i've changed back to my research dragon right now and let's check out the timer for this upgrade right now 21 hours and 36 minutes so that's how much Good this dragon is man so it's gonna increase for the amount of days the upgrade takes so before that it was like 25 hours and with that extra reduction in timers we got three to four hours cut off from our research time so this is more important guys if you want to get your research done more quickly you want to get all that timer you can get so we're gonna quit this one too and that's pretty much it guys so you can always quit this and then just switch back to your other dragon it doesn't matter and that is pretty much it for the video guys hope this video helped you guys if it helped be sure to share this video with your housemates with your friends and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already make sure you leave a like on this video and i'll see you guys in the next video until then peace out guys stay safe and have a nice awesome day